I first started this long road of basketball, what consumed me was being the best basketball player I could be. He's got Livingston in his right, Horace Grant in his left. Goes inside. Oh, classic Jordan! But now I'm reminiscing about my whole career. I had a whole different appreciation for the game itself. It has evolved to be more than just a game. It's been a, a teacher of life. He grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina, and from the beginning, there was something distinctive about Michael Jordan. Michael's first taste of the game of basketball came in pickup games against his older brother Larry, which ignited his competitive fire. He would go on to attend Laney High School, where he blended in as just another face in the crowd. Working hard to improve, Michael would not only make the team the following year, he played well enough to earn a scholarship to the University of North Carolina, a school rich in basketball tradition. But he still faced skepticism about his ability. But Michael would be chosen to start as a freshman by legendary coach Dean Smith. And in the 1982 National Championship game against Georgetown, he would burst into prominence by hitting one of the biggest shots in NCAA history. The tie, 18. The shot gave Smith his first NCAA title and marked a turning point in Michael's career. Hitting a shot against Georgetown in 1982, it kind of ignited a fire inside of me that nothing was going to stop me. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. As the third overall draft pick, Michael was expected to make an impact, but few could have imagined just how sensational he would be. Jordan under the floor, that's why it's Jordan! Oh, give him a ten! Uh-oh, Jordan, Jordan to the hoop! Oh! Michael to the hoop, Jordan, it's out! Taking the league by storm, Jordan would electrify his sport in a way that few athletes had ever done before. The buck, nine to nothing here. Oh, in a league of stars, in a game of stars, you were the star of stars. Congratulations on being the 1988 All-Star MVP. Jordan had risen to superstar status. However, his resume was still missing the one achievement that would cement his place among the game's most elite players. What separated me from Larry Bird and Magic Johnson was, you know, they had championships to back their individual accolades. So, I mean, uh, that drove me more so than anything. But in spite of his individual brilliance, Michael had yet to prove that he could lead his team to a title. And as he tried to climb to the top of the NBA, he found that one major obstacle continued to block his path. People forget how hard it was for that guy to deal with the Detroit Pistons. You know, they were the one person that's saying, you're not so hot, you know, we can stop you. And they did. For three straight years, the Bulls would meet the Pistons in the playoffs. And for three straight years, they would suffer a bitter defeat. Chicago Bulls continue to frustrate themselves and their fans. I felt it was very disappointing each and every time that we ended up getting to this hurdle and couldn't get over it. With each passing year, Michael's frustration grew deeper, while the whispers grew louder that Jordan was simply a one-man show who could not elevate the performance of his team. I had to contend with people saying, well, a scoring champion doesn't win championships, which, was, which drove me nuts. As the 1991 season began, Jordan knew a change was needed if the Bulls were to finally fulfill their destiny. I felt that we were going to lose out on this opportunity in terms of, you know, my leadership and what I had to do on the basketball court, I was going to do whatever I had to, to do to get us a championship. If you need something done, I do it. You know, defense, passing, scoring, whatever. That was the challenge that I took. Returning to the conference finals, they found their tormentors, the Pistons, waiting once again. But this time, things would be different. Finally earning their vindication, the Bulls completed a four-game sweep and put the Pistons' nightmare behind them. Unit three. That could be 
Need a nail in the coffin. While the Chicago Bulls advance to the NBA championship round. As he made his NBA Finals debut, Jordan's timing was perfect. He would face Magic Johnson and the Lakers in what would be Magic's last trip to the Finals. We didn't feel like the pressure was on us, but the challenge was there, yeah, especially for myself. You know, here I'm going against one of the greatest players in the game, and I want, I want to beat him. With his opportunity now in front of him, Michael would rise to the challenge and lift his teammates along with him as Chicago would dominate the Lakers. Devons with a bounce pass in Jordan, the steal, tight ropes the sideline all the way. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. For seven long years, he had pursued the NBA title. And now that he had finally achieved his goal, he seemed to take on an even more heroic quality. I think the fact that he failed the, the first few times he took a run at the, at the title made people connect to him and relate to him a little bit better because they saw that he wasn't just this machine. I mean, every, everyone's failed at certain things, and to see a, a star of his magnitude fail and, and feel it so, so deeply raised his stature in people's minds. As a member of this team and an organization in the city of Chicago for seven years, it brings me great joy to say we are the world champions. Thank you. Michael and the Bulls were raising the championship banner at last. But as the 92 season began, it was clear that his hunger for winning was far from satisfied. Michael! It's like the guy on the King of the Hill situation. Once you're on top of the hill, uh, you want to defend it. in the history of this league. With his offensive explosion, Jordan propelled the Bulls to their second straight title and raised his own popularity to new heights. It's been uh, eight years going into my ninth year and we got two championships and uh, hopefully we got a lot left. As the 1993 season began, Jordan would add even more astounding images to his seemingly endless highlight reel. Yes, here comes Here's Jordan in deep on Elo. I tell you, he's just simply amazing. He does whatever he has to do to beat you. Well, we cannot stop him. I never said we had to stop him. Well, we can't stop focus him. Focus on Nobody him. can stop him. Michael had now reached the pinnacle of his career. For the third year, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls have climbed the Mount Olympus of the NBA. Solidifying his status as the game's greatest player, Jordan had done what Bird and Magic could not, win a third straight title, a feat not achieved since Bill Russell's great Celtics of the 60s. Congratulations, it's a great accomplishment. He had seemingly done it all, but Michael's most astounding move was yet to come.